Okay. This this small cameo. Oh my god, you're so weird. Did you gonna put lipstick on here? <laughs> lipstick. <laughs> murp, 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 murp. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jenny with The Bangs. I'm going to be trying on a bunch of my different lipsticks for you today. It's going to be part one and part two. The part one is going to be like cream lipsticks and glosses and stuff like that. And then part two is going to be matte lipsticks. Oh, my lips are gonna hate me. So let's go ahead and get started. Go grab your tea. It's gonna be a journey. Okay guys, so I did go ahead and scrub my lips with a Jeffree Star lip scrub and candy cane. Look at that packaging. Look at that. It's so pretty. I'll probably use these a lot during this video because it's, it's gonna be a long one for my lips. So the first one I'm going to start with today is one that I completely forgot and I even had and it is a Studded Kiss Lipstick in color Poe. I remember going into Sephora and looking for a blue lipstick and this was the only one that they had that actually was like speaking to me. So I'm going to go ahead and put it on here in a second. But it's just this really pretty blue. The name on this one is Poe which is very fitting considering Edgar Allan Poe is my idol. My camera is actually on top of a stack of Edgar Allan Poe books right now. I'm going to go ahead and try this on and we'll go from there. So this is Poe. Uh, this is the Kat Von D Studded Kiss Lipstick. It's got some glitter in it. I mean, I don't see myself wearing it very often. It is a little bit hard to apply because it is so thick. Uh, I mean, it's really pretty, and I like that she has, I don't know if you can see it, but she has the Kat Von D logo on. I really like the color of it. I just don't see myself wearing it for anything other than, like, Halloween. It's not bad. I do want to add really quickly that I'm going to be doing these swatches really fast. I'm not going to be doing them too precisely, so they are probably going to be somewhat sloppy. I'm going to take this one off and get on to the next one. So next, I'm going to talk about an Ashley Tisdale lip gloss. This is what the bottle looks like. Illuminate by Ashley Tisdale and this is in shade Coral Reef. So this is a very pink color. It's got some glimmer to it. I really think the bottle is adorable. This is what the applicator looks like. Pretty decent size wand so it's easy to apply. It doesn't really smell like anything. So I'm gonna go ahead and try on this one. Again, this is a Coral Reef Gloss by Ashley Tisdale. Her brand is Illuminate by Ashley. Okay guys, so this is the Coral Reef by Ashley Tisdale in the gloss. I actually really like her gloss formula. I think it's super creamy. It's not overly sticky and it just gives you a nice little shine. I mean, I'm not living for the color necessarily. I'm really kind of surprised that this is the color I bought, but it's really nice. I would definitely buy it again in a different shade. I definitely recommend this if you're looking for a cheap gloss. You can get this on BH Cosmetics. Uh, it's just, it's really simple. It's cheap, but it's actually really good quality and it's just good. It's a good product. So if you're into glosses, Ashley Tuesdale. She's got a bunch of different colors on there as well. So it's definitely something to go look into. Okay, so up next, I'm going to be doing the Julep um, It's Whipped Matte Lip Mousse. And so these are, they say they're matte, but I don't think they are. They're more of a just normal lipstick, I think, and more of a cream. They don't dry down, so I figured that I would go ahead and do these with the lipsticks instead of the mattes, simply because they're not really matte. First one I'm going to do is in shade Pout. And I know I talked about this in another video, but I think the packaging for this is absolutely adorable. I love the square, and I know a lot of brands are actually going with that these days. And I'm still a little mixed on the applicator, but I'm, I'm going to keep giving it a shot and see what I think. Okay, so this is shade Pout by Julep. It's the whipped matte formula, um, but I really like this color. I think it's a really pretty, like, nude mauve shade. I have fairly average sized lips I would say and I only have to dip once into these which is really nice I feel like I'm not wasting much product and guys just like I did with my must-haves video I'm gonna go ahead and put a link down below to my blog which will have a post with all links that you can find these products if you're interested in them please note though that some of these items are no longer being offered so I may not be able to link to those but I'll try to link to something maybe a little bit similar the next one for the It's Whipped formula is Bisu. I, I don't know how to pronounce that. 
and this is like a very pinky shade. The applicator looks like this. So I'm going to go ahead and put this one on and show you what that one looks like. So again, this is the Bisu, Bisu, I don't know how to pronounce it. Just a really light pink. I, I think it's a good color. So again, great formula. Yeah, not much else to say about it. The last It's Whipped that I have is this lovely red right here. The packaging is a little weird. It's got like cracks in it or something. I don't really know what happened there. Um, but this one is called At Midnight. And again, lovely packaging for the most part. Same wand. So I'm going to go ahead and put this one on and see what it looks like. Okay, so this is a really, really rough swatch. I'm kind of surprised with this one. I've tried this a couple times before, and I guess I just never noticed it, but this one actually has a much thicker formula. It's a little bit harder to work with. It's a little stickier as well. I don't know. This one almost feels like it's actually drying a little bit, whereas the others didn't. So I don't know if that's a mistake or if that's the formula of the red one because of the color pigments. I don't know. I don't know the science behind it, but just keep that in mind when you're looking at these. If you decide you want the red, just know that it is a little bit on the thicker side. But overall, I really do like the matte It's Whipped formula. It's super creamy and moisturizing. It does feel like a mousse on your lips. It's super light. I just really enjoy it, and I'm really looking forward to seeing where I can wear these in the future. All right, so next up is another Julep product. These are called Light on Your Lips lipsticks. I have them in three different shades. These are just normal lipsticks. I'm going to go ahead and show them. Uh, first up is Strut. I do like the packaging on these. The magnet is so much fun. Um, I love how easy it is to open and close. You just twist it up, and it's this purpley shade right here. All right, so this is what it looks like on. It's just a really pretty light purple shade. Obviously this formula is not long wearing because it is a lipstick. It's like a cream, but it goes on really easily. It's not difficult to apply. There's no, there's no weird smell with it. I don't know if these shades are still available. Again, check my blog post in the link below. I will have the link if it is available. Otherwise I'll have something similar. I haven't bought one in a while, but they've come out with a lot more shades recently, so I'm definitely going to buy some more eventually. The next one is Stepping Out. Same cool packaging, but this one is like a, a reddish coral shade. The camera makes it look a little more red, I think, than it actually is. So this is the shade Stepping Out. Again, just a really pretty coral. I have worn this one a lot. Uh, of the three, this is definitely my favorite, and I definitely recommend it for anyone who's looking for a good coral, good shade, good formula. And the last one for the Julep lipsticks that I'm going to do today is Girl Code. And you can see the bottom here, same packaging, it's got some more pink tones to it. So this is Girl Code. It's definitely pink. I almost feel like a Barbie when I wear it. Julep did a fantastic job with these lipsticks. I enjoy the packaging. I think that they are just wonderful. The formula is great, smooth, easy to put on. They're definitely a great formula and I for sure recommend them to anybody who wants a lipstick and not liquid lipstick or matte or anything like that. It's just a really good product, so definitely go check them out. Not only do you get a cameo from Morgan, you get a cameo from Buddy right in front of the camera. You saw my face. He's really mad at me now. I put him down. So next up, I'm going to start talking about Kylie Cosmetics. First thing from Kylie that I'm going to talk about is one of her metallics. Now this is the only metallic formula that I have. It's a formula that I have never experienced before. I really don't wear it too often. It's not really my style, but it is rain. But you can see the glitter in there. And it's, I mean, it's a really cool formula. The smell is the same cupcake-y. It's a little bit thicker. It reminds me kind of of the mousse. The Whipped Mousse by Julep. So this is Rain by Kylie Cosmetics. Again, this is her metallic formula. I mean, it's a really good color. It's definitely very bronzy. Almost some hints of like maroon or burgundy in there. It's comfortable to wear. I think that it's just not a good color for my skin tone. I haven't found anything to use this with yet, but I keep it around just in case. But yeah, I mean... It's pretty. It's a good color. The longer you wear it, the more tacky it gets. 
I mean, I'm not mad that I bought it. I think it's a really cool color. I just don't wear it much. I don't really have a lot of looks that I can wear it with, but I definitely like the formula. It's super unique. It's been so long since I've worn this. Maybe I'll start wearing it again. So the next one is one that was on my my must-haves list, and that is Posey K. I wish that I had either the matte or the velvet formula to show you as well. Unfortunately, I haven't bought those yet, but I love the gloss, and I really wanted to try it on for you guys, so I am going to put it on here really quickly. Again, it is this really, really pretty, like, mauve pink color. I think it's gorgeous. I don't wear pinks, as you all know. But I really do like this color. This is Posey K by Kylie Cosmetics. Again, this is one of my must-haves for anything, really. I love this gloss. I love that it's not sticky. Once it dries a little bit, like, it starts to wear off, your lips are left with this really pretty dark pink stain, which it's not hard to wipe off necessarily. It's just really pretty. I love the shine on it. I think it's a gorgeous pink. I have longer hair, and I live in a place where wind is just part of my daily life, and I'm not a big fan of getting hair stuck in my gloss and then dragging a lip gloss all across my face. That is not fun for me, so I don't pick glosses too often, but I really, really do love this gloss. I think her glosses are absolutely killer, and I definitely recommend it. Yeah, this is Posey K. I mean, just look how pretty that is. So the next one I'm going to do is Jolly, another gloss. This was actually part of her holiday collection from two Christmases ago, I believe. I I think she has re-released it since along with the other gloss, which I think was called Naughty. It's kind of a dark purple shade. Like, it's like a really dark berry. And that's what the applicator looks like. I don't hate the applicator. A lot of people have problems with them, but I don't mind them. I think that they're really precise and they're easy to put on. So this is Jolly. Again, it is a very, like, dark berry shade. It's just as lovely as her Posy K formula. It's the same formula. But what I will say is that this one really stains. It's a really good color. I messed up a little bit. You, you can see a little bit of the staining already happening. This one is slightly more difficult to work with in terms of controlling it and putting it around your lips. But overall, it is a really fun shade. It's great for the holidays. So I definitely recommend it. Again, of the glosses, I would prefer Posy K, but it is really pretty. There's definitely a hint of purple on my lips. The next two I'm going to do by Kylie for glosses are a couple of her glitter ones. I wear them more than anything on top of other lipsticks, like matte lipsticks specifically. Pop in. It's kind of a gold shimmer really pretty again this is what the applicator looks like it's definitely gold all right so this is poppin and i apologize because my lips are stained from the jolly gloss so they look a little purpley look at that shine though i don't really like gold so this is not my go-to by any means but it is a really pretty color by itself i prefer it on top of others um i, I really like this on top of reds i believe it is still for sale so definitely hop on there and grab that this one is damn gina a part of the coco collection you can see coco written on there and this is kind of like a nude glitter it's really pretty great color i actually wear this one quite frequently I'll swatch it here for you. All right, so this one is Damn Gina, part of the Coco collection on Kylie Cosmetics. Again, just note that I do have some purple tint on my lips from a prior gloss. I really do like this one. I think that it is so pretty. Just a simple nude glitter gloss. I recommend it. And the last thing that I'm going to talk about today in this part one of trying on my lipsticks is a Jeffree Star lip ammunition. Now, this is the only lip ammunition I have purchased from him. I do have one on the way right now. That's for a future video. This one is called Champagne Tears. This is from his holiday collection, and this is actually more of a topper than anything else. This is not like a full-on like pigmented lipstick. He has two or three of these, I think, in limp ammunition. It's, I mean, it's really pretty. I love how it's supposed to be for a topper. Personally, I have had issues with it using it as a topper. I have to use it by itself. I don't know if it's just the one I have is defective or if maybe it just doesn't work for me. I really find the smell of his lip ammunitions weird. 
It's supposed to be like orange creamsicle, but I don't get that. I just still smell sweet. This is Champagne Tears by Jeffree Star. This is one of his lip ammunitions. I think it's really pretty with the glitter and everything like that. I think this would look really good on top of like berry shades and reds especially. I think that would make it pop a lot. So overall, I think this is really fun. I think it is definitely something different that you don't see every day. I just wish I could wear it on top of lipsticks. Kind of matches the bottle. Huh. Well, that's fun. I recommend this for anyone who just wants some glitter, whether you can use it on top of a lipstick or not. That's totally up to you. I can't personally with this one, but if you like the glitter just by itself, hey, you do you, girl. So thank you so much for watching part one of me trying on my lipstick. I'm really excited to try on the mattes. I'm going to still do that today, hopefully, uh, but I am definitely going to take a break, put on some chapstick, maybe eat some lunch, drink some more tea, and give my, my mouth a break because, whew, girl, this is rough. I just did the easy stuff. I did glosses and lipsticks mattes are gonna be rough. I will be posting the matte lip liquid lipstick video next weekend. As always, if you liked what you saw here, definitely subscribe to my channel and leave me a comment with some questions or what you'd like to see next. So thank you again for watching. Bye!